Uh, hello, what is up, YouTube? Um, Steve here for a new video. Um, I figured I have some time. Um, I have some time right now, so I, I wanted to record this. But this video, well, let me preface it by saying, um, as I've talked about this quite a lot throughout this series, uh, I, at least I think I have. Uh, Little Karibos, We're Still Here series was a, a huge influence on me doing this. You know, it, arguably I got the idea for doing this from him. But, and I'm, his videos are way better than mine will ever be. I gotta be honest with you. Um, way better from any possible standpoint. I mean, granted his, it's two different, I view it as two different shows, you know, but... Timmy talks almost exclusively about depression. I mean, I try to talk about a lot of different things that affect me, and a lot of things regarding mental illness in general, but his videos are what really got me thinking, you know what, I don't know if you can hear dogs barking outside, but his videos were really what got me thinking, you know what, I've been suffering through a lot of different things, including depression for nine plus years I could talk about this so that was really what got it just triggered something in me to, to want to do this it was it was I need it's I it's not a completely original idea and I've said that for quite some time but I bring up his series again because there was a video I know my dog is barking uh, there's a video that I guess I'm yeah, I, I know Valentino uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that later but uh, there was a video that I guess I missed. Um, it was actually, he had a guest, he does guest videos, and that's something that I'd like to have on this show eventually. You know, instead of me maybe doing a video all the time, I would love, and if, so, if you know me, if you actually know me, and you're watching this, I, 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 and you have an idea for a video, I encourage you. To contact me, um, maybe maybe you don't know me, but and you want to do a video, I I, I would welcome that. You know, if, whoever was watching this and you want to do a video, I you know feel free to comment. Um, if you ha if you know me personally, message me, get in contact with me in some other way. But I would love to have someone else do a video instead of me and talk about something else, even. Or maybe their experiences with something similar. You know, I've talked with some, with at least one or two of my friends about maybe them, maybe me still being in the video, but maybe they want to talk about their experiences because it could be very intimidating doing this by yourself. I completely get that. So if you want me to be a part of the video too in some way, that's great. I I, I would be more than willing to do that. Oh, oh excuse me, sorry. It's not. It's just not a video unless I burp in it, but. The point that I try and that I want to make is that um, he had a guest on his show. I believe it was Chris Niosi, or as some, or this is YouTube, as some of you may know him as Kerberfar. Um And he talked about he talked about a lot of different things um, and a lot of things that I have emphasis with. Um, he talked about having Asperger's syndrome. He talked about being annoying, which is something that I've kind of talked about on the show before. And I will be talking about it again for this video. I, at least I'll try to. I, I, there's no script, you know what I mean? It's just me just talking. You know, these videos are coming from the heart, and I've always said that. But, but one thing that he really talked about in his video with Little Karibo, his, his video for Little Karibo series, I should say. Little Karibo wasn't actually in the video for this, for, for this particular episode, but... He talked about being a good person, and how it's not this, not that he struggles with it, but that you know he, he he he. But it's something that it's it could be hard sometimes. I guess is maybe what he was trying to say. Um, it's hard for me to it's for for lack of a better way of putting it, you know. Um, and I saw another one of his videos on high school and stuff. Which he talked to about some some of the same stuff. I want to see more of his videos, um, curb blogs as he calls them. But uh, but that got me to thinking about myself really. Um, 
you know, and how I not. It's not even a matter of struggling to be a good person. It's just, or if, or, what, it being something that's hard to do. But sometimes we we try. I think what he was trying to say is that sometimes he tries too hard, and I try too hard. Or maybe I don't try hard enough. You know, and that's really what this video is about. Um, I, I know this is kind of confusing. Maybe it's a little confusing. But the topic of this video is really, am I a good person? And it's something that I think about all the fucking time. And arguably, if you know me personally, you may be watching this and thinking, oh, of course you're a good person, but it's something that I think about. And it bothers me that, because sometimes I don't feel like I'm a good person. I don't feel that. And I never really feel it. Um, that's difficult to admit. Um, but I think about all the shit that I've done. Like just bullshit stuff that I've done. And it's, it's not such stuff I should think about, but I think about horrible things that I've done all the time. I, I let that consume me. And I think about talked about this particularly maybe a few videos ago and maybe a little bit throughout this series but I've talked about how in high school I wasn't I wasn't bad I wouldn't use the term I was this horrible person you know I wouldn't say that but I have fucking annoyed people I was fucking annoying very much like Kerber for uh, said in uh, his videos you know he, 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 he was he struggled with being annoying or maybe he just came off that way to a lot of different people and that had ramifications and in a lot of ways that was the same thing with me I came off as annoying to a lot of people uh, to a lot of people and that had ramifications so <coughs> I'm sorry um so that's really what I struggle with you know sometimes I still think about when I was younger and I I, I got people upset right the things people don't like I was just annoying I just like the annoying people. That's fucked up. And I'm not that, I don't think, I like to think of myself as that same person. But to a lot of people, I still am. Because they haven't, they either haven't seen me in some time or they just don't care enough to, to want to see me. And I don't know if that makes sense. It's like, it's like, you know, we, we you know, it, it, this is the digital age. We all have Facebook now. Most of us, I guess. I guess. But, you, you know, you, you see people from your high school on Facebook. Maybe some of you do. And... But then there are those people who will never fucking add you. Or you press the add button, your, that request will be deleted. I've experienced that. Or I'm af and I'm afraid to add a lot of people from my high school for that fucking reason. Because, it, it, again, it boils down to, A, they, they don't know... They still have that image of me from ten years ago. When I was 15 and doing all this fucked up shit. Oh god, I would... I'm so sorry, guys. Or a B. Or B, you know, it's just they don't care enough. They, they, they want to keep that image because that's the image they know of me. They don't... And they're just too disgusted with me to want to change that. Which I can't blame them for. I don't blame anybody for having any ill will against me from that time. You know, there are people who I didn't think would ever want anything to do with me again, and I think it's a miracle that they've reached out to me, but that's a fucking miracle, but um, I, I let that stuff consume me, and even though it was so fucking long ago, it consumes me. I think of all the bad shit I did as a kid. <laughs> and I don't think about all the good stuff I've done as an adult. And granted, I'm not that old as an adult. I mean, I'm 25, but... I did the series. And that's something that, that that's something to appreciate, I guess. You know, or just... I'm not that same person. I'm not a kid anymore. But... still think I can't think of all the positive things I've done I just think of the negative side of myself and I let that and like I've said I let like I'm saying now I, I let that consume me 
I feel like I, I hate that about myself. I hate that I, I can't look at myself and think this guy's actually pretty cool. I've talked about this throughout the series, but I look at the I look at my mirror or I look at just this computer screen right now. My com well, of course it's my computer, but uh, I look at this video. And I just, I think this is fucking disgusting. I think I just look fucking disgusting. I, I hate the way I look. I hate it. I know that sounds horrible of me to say, but I don't like, I, I don't like my face at all. I think it's fucking gross. Um, but there's, but I also look at this, and I, and I just don't like this person at all. I, I just look at myself and I, thank God, what a terrible person. And that's that's disturbing for me to admit, but that's what I feel when I look at myself. I'm not saying it's true. I'm, I've never done anything particularly awful, but that's what I think when I look at this. But I want to tell you, I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I'm sure there are people who do. Self-hatred is a real thing, but... It's not something that you can easily overcome. I'm, I'm working to overcome it myself and try to find the worth that I, I know I have. And it's, it's, it's crazy because I know I have worth. I know that there's good in me. I just don't like admitting it. I don't like talking about it. I don't know why. I feel like I'm... I, I, I hate... I, I hate that. <clears throat> so my message to you... If you're struggling with similar feelings, God, there's like something stuck in my throat. I want you to know that you are worth. I know this is like very basic, but you are worth life. You are worth so much. You are not. Chances are you're really nowhere near as bad as you may think you are. Okay? If you think that. We all make mistakes in this world, and nobody's perfect. Everybody has issues. Everybody, of some sort, you know. Everybody has problems of some sort. Everybody, no one is perfect in any in in every sense of the word, or any sense of the word, really. But if you try to do the right thing in your life, and you're not screwing anybody over. God, I gotta stop doing that. Sorry, guys. If you're not screwing people over, you're not hurting people. If you're kind. You're doing, you're just doing the best you can to be a person in this world. There's good in you. You are worth life. You are worth the time of day. You are worth all of that. Don't get on yourself for stuff you may have done. Don't be like me in that. God, I'm itchy. I keep being I keep being itchy in these videos and I keep barping Jesus. Don't be like me in that regard. And I know I've said that before, but do not and I know it's it may be easier said than done, but don't be like me. I, I'm not the role model in that regard. I'm not a role model in that regard. Okay. You are worth so much. You are worth so much. You know, and you are worth loving yourself. You are. You are worth love. You you are worthy of love. And don't get on yourself for stuff you may have done so fucking long ago. Because it's not worth it. You're not that person. Chances are you're really not that person anymore. No one stays the fucking same throughout life. And if you and maybe some people do, but those people just haven't learned from their mistakes. Okay, most most people change drastically throughout life. In five short years, you're you're not the same person. I'm not the same person I was ten years ago. So, if if you if there's something you're not proud of, you can acknowledge it, but you can also acknowledge 
you were diff you you were a different person back then. You're not the same person. And getting on yourself for stuff that happened so long ago, or just whatever. It's it's not gonna make it better. It's not it's not gonna fix the fucking problem. You know. What fixed it for me was again it's miracles. <laughs> For like a better way of putting it, it's miracles that people are giving me the time of day. I think it's a miracle because I haven't reached out to anybody, really. Um, and that's shitty on my part. You know, I, I should have... There are people who I need to fucking apologize to. But I haven't done it because... I, I, don't, I don't know. It's not that I'm not man enough. It's, I... I, I I guess it just hasn't been the right time in a way. I don't know. There are people who I will apologize to when the time is right. And you can make amends. Okay. People will get over. For the most part, there are people who hold grudges, but for the most part, people will get over. The shit you may have pulled so long ago, if it wasn't too terrible. You know, people are going to get over that, and they're going to want... And if you are sincere, and you're doing the right thing in your life, that's going to draw people in again, and they're going to want to be a part of that. Regardless of what you may have done. That At least that's what I've learned since doing this series. I learned that. Um, I thought that... I fucked everybody over, you know, because I was a clown. I, I, I had bubbles coming out of my fucking ass, and nobody liked that. No, nobody likes a class clown. It's crazy, as fun as it sounds. Nobody likes that shit. You did to fucking learn. You, you know, whether you want to admit it or not. So, I thought that my act, that that, that was gonna be it. That was gonna be the image people had of me forever. Some people had of me forever. But it's not. It's not. Okay. So that's... I guess that's my video. I don't know what more to say. I wish I knew what more to say. But... I just want you to know... I may not know you. But if you're watching this, that's a sign you want to help yourself. If Maybe you, maybe you don't feel you're a good person either. And I'm, I'm not going to judge you, but... If you're trying to do something for yourself, try to be a bad person, try to better yourself, and you're watching this video, that says something too. Maybe it says something that I'm even doing this. So that's my video. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I think I'm just... I may have to do a few edits. I, maybe I could upload this today. Um, but that's my video. I'll talk to you guys again very soon, okay? Be good. Take care. And um, talk to you soon, okay? Be good. Goodbye.